I'm Charlotte Kunwani. I am a consultant radiologist at University College London Hospital. Alzheimer's is a devastating diagnosis for patients and also devastating for the family members. Alzheimer's affects around 500,000 people in the UK. By 2025, it's expected to affect more than a million people. The government have highlighted treatment and management of Alzheimer's as one of the priority areas for the NHS. Making an early diagnosis of Alzheimer's is potentially very useful. It can help patients plan for dealing with the consequences of their disease and it may also enable effective early therapy. The problem at the moment is that we have no good tool for doing this. By the time that we pick up changes on conventional imaging, the disease is already quite far progressed. What we would like to do is to look at novel imaging techniques which look at microstructure and function in the brain to see if these can be used to pick up the disease at an earlier stage where it's possible to intervene and improve patient quality of life. I will now pass you on to Professor Mark Lithgow who will describe some of the work that's ongoing at CABI. So my name is Mark Lithgow, I'm Professor of Biomedical Imaging at University College London and I'm Director of the Centre for Advanced Biomedical Imaging or more affectionately known as CABI. The aim of this project is to develop a completely new way of looking at the brain and detecting Alzheimer's disease. Quite simply, at the moment we're very good at using MRI to detect the structural changes of the brain. What I want to do is to develop a new way of looking at the functional changes of the brain and see how this changes during Alzheimer's disease. And why do we want to do this? One, we want to be able to get an early diagnosis and secondly, we want to be able to detect the novel treatments that are coming online. Now, we're going to do this in the Centre for Advanced Biomedical Imaging or CABE. Um, this is a unique place. We've got biologists here, neuroscientists, pharmacologists, mathematicians, physicists, and the idea is we create a real sense of community and family and all have a driver to develop novel imaging techniques. The unique environment is that we've got 11 state-of-the-art imaging techniques. We have MRI, we have one of the largest MRI scanners in the country. We've got nuclear medicine, we've got photoacoustics, ultrasound, and a range of optical imaging. And part of the project will bring the, be to bring all these to bear on looking for early ways of detecting Alzheimer's disease. What we want is someone that's bright and enthusiastic that can bring a lot of disciplines together, but also a lot of different imaging techniques. So if you're up for a challenge, if you're up for bringing neuroscience, physics, engineering, maths and biology together, then come to CABI, have a chat with us, and come and have a look around some of the imaging techniques that we're developing.